have to go over to the race track and half hour. Okay. And then I have to go to the bus. Oh, is it time for my story? Yes. <laughs> so, for some reason, I thought it would be really exciting to buy some ice cream and eat it in the library. Oh. And I was so excited about it because I found out that at university libraries, you, like, don't have to follow traditional library rules. Oh. So you can talk and eat and do all these fun things in the library. So I bought some ice cream, and my roommates were chilling, they studying, and I was like, hey guys, I got some ice cream, and they were like, we're studying, and I was like, but I got ice cream, <laughs> and then I was just shoveling in this ice cream, and I was like, I'm eating ice cream in the library, guys, and everyone was looking at me, and I was just like, I'm eating ice cream in the library, guys, and I was all excited about it, and it was pretty random, but I got to eat ice cream while they studied, so... Who's the real winner here? Well, that's why yeah. um, they renamed our library at our school to the hub because they were like, you guys don't need to be quiet. You guys can eat in here. And then somebody like spilled, um, <laughs> spilled like, I don't know, Gatorade on a book. And then they were like, okay, no eating or drinking in the hub. And but but unlike our old library rules, we could have electronics in the library. Oh my! So we got to sit on these beautiful electronica. Comfy yes. So we can sit on these beautiful, comfy chairs with our electronics and not have to read a book because it wasn't the library. It was called The Hub. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Did you eat ice cream? We couldn't eat or drink in The Hub. Whoa. 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 That rule, like, happened a year before I was in sixth grade, so I didn't even get, it, get to experience that. Whoa. Stupid Gatorade. I bet it was red Gatorade. Or like blue. Red or yeah. blue. Yeah. That's what, I like the flavors of red blue Gatorade. In a few years I'm gonna get this copyrighted. But I like the flavors of red and blue Gatorade, but when you drink out of them, they like stain right above your lip. Yeah, and then you're like having a red mustache and you're like mm -hmm. So that's the only reason why I don't like those two flavors. But everything else that I do I I do like. Like life. Yes, life is a book. Let's write it every day. Hi <laughs> on life. That's what our anchor time teacher would always say. So what are you guys gonna do? Get high this weekend? And we're like, uh. And then he would say, you know, high on life, not on drugs and alcohol. <laughs> well, he always used to say that. <laughs> our anchor time teacher would say that every single Friday. Everyone. And then um, on Monday, he would always say, you guys didn't get high this week, did you? And he was like, no, we didn't. We were not on drugs or alcohol. <laughs> this one kid would never say that, though, and then he ended up hmm. getting, yeah. Suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, Molly, do you have another story you want to tell? Uh, sure. Yeah. I don't know if it's a very riveting story, but I thought it was kind of funny. Riveting, that's a big word. <laughs> big boy Wally got some big old words. Last week at work on Wednesday, went to work at 11, 11? and got done with work at 9. I was cleaning up, just told to go home. Someone else was working with, they're like, are you working at the next shift? And I'm thinking... No, I worked all day. I don't want to work another shift. <laughs> Whoa, he's rage. And I'm just like tired and I'm sweating and my feet hurt. I just want to go home. And someone has the nerve to ask me if I want to work another shift. No. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> 